Hi guys, so I saw a Tumblr post the other day that I just really wanted to make a video about. Um, you might have seen it, um, it's really popular, like it's been on my dash like 10 times. I'm pretty sure I've seen it on Twitter too, but if you don't know what it is, I will link it down below so that you can read it yourself, but I'll just give you a short summary. It's a true story and this boy was walking home from school, um, had all his books and was carrying everything that he like had. A popular kid, they were both freshmen and um, the thinking like why is this nerd bringing home all these books like that's what he does on the weekends okay, it doesn't say his name but um, the boy's name is Kyle and Kyle some people were bullying him what like walking home from the bus or whatever and like pushing his books down and stuff like that and the guy who wrote the blog post um, went up to him and like helped him out and walked home like walked back to their houses and they were neighbors and they didn't even know and over like the years of high school they um, became like really close friends. It was this guy that he's never like seen before, this stranger that seemed like to be a nerd but they became best friends and Kyle became friends with all of the other guys friends and it even said like Kyle ended up getting more girls than him like it, it was just really cute. Um, he ended up being valedictorian of the class, and this is what he said in his speech. I'm just going to read it word for word. It says, Graduation is a time to thank those who have helped you through these tough years. Your parents, teachers, siblings, maybe a coach, but mostly your friends. I am here to tell all of you that being a friend to someone is the best gift that you can give. I'm going to tell you a story. And then he told everyone the story of when he met his best friend, which is, again, the guy who wrote the blog post. And the reason why he took home all of his books that day is because he was planning to kill himself over the weekend and so that his mom didn't have to go back to the school and clean out his locker. And I just wanted to make a video about, and if you definitely read the whole thing because that was just a summary and it will be linked down below as I said, but um, I just wanted to make a video about it because that is so crazy to me and I've heard and I've read so many things about how one single circumstance in a tiny situation can change someone's life and I am here to um, encourage you to do that. I am here to challenge you to change someone's life and you don't have to be, you don't have to go to Africa and go on all these mission trips especially because most people don't have the money for that. Even if it's just one person's world, you can still change the world. You don't have to go out and do all of these amazing things and create all these charities and all this stuff. You can just change a few people's lives and that means more to them than seeing you do all these other things in the world. It's so easy too in school if you don't like there's so many people in your classes probably that you don't really talk to because they're not in your friend group or whatever but like in the mornings or if you see someone in the hallway like talk to them it's not that hard. If you go up and just say good morning and how was your weekend even if you never talked to them before like ask them their name compliment them and you may not hang out with them over the weekend but it you just find people in your school that look like don't have friends and don't have support. If you just talk to them, I don't want to like cry or anything because that can make all the difference because if there's someone who doesn't have any support at home or any friends and no one to talk to them, not even to ask how their day is, and you're the person that talks to them like even just saying hi good morning or even just smiling at them like going through the hallways and smiling at people is so important but my point is you don't know how much a smile or a good morning can do for someone it's just crazy to me how simple it is to compliment someone or say hi to someone and especially if you are a popular kid like or captain the cheer team or like you're known in the school like the teachers like you and stuff like that you don't popular people have such a bad rap and it's true like the jock the mean girl and I don't see why it has to be like that I don't know why the popular people can't be known as being the nice people that are nice to everyone and 
it is so crazy and this has happened to me before this has happened to me before when you just talk to people and tell them to have a good weekend and sometimes they'll say to you like I thought that you were so mean and like like it sucks for people to tell you but it's great as well when people say I thought you were so mean but you're so nice and you're so nice to me and um I just I just hate how people can be labeled as mean or judgmental simply because they don't talk to other people and like we're all humans we are all we have the same organs we the only thing is we look different and we act different but we're still all the same and no one is higher than anyone else and if you think that because you have straight A's and you're the captain of the cheer team and you have a party every weekend do not think that you are above someone else that watches anime or is in band like all those stereotypical things that like you're not above them at all and especially in school like you're not like you may be above them in the class rank but your value is not measured your your value is all the same every human's value is the same in the eyes of God and to think that you are above someone to tell them good morning or to talk to them is so it's so arrogant but since I wanted to make this video because of that blog post um you know it's not hard to say hi to people and or help someone when they drop their books because that story that I just read and that I'll link down below proves that you can change someone's life so easily and you don't know what the person is going through and you don't know just like Kyle in the story they might be having suicidal thoughts or depression and any comfort and any amount of kindness can help anyone so with that being said go out and Say hi to people and smile at people that you see in the hallway and smile at strangers. If you never talked to them before, say hi, tell them good morning, compliment them. And um, it makes you feel better about yourself and I'm pretty sure it makes other people feel better about themselves too. So I think that the world needs more people that... Obviously the world needs nicer people and as the teen generation, I don't think it's that hard to do that because all you have to do is comment on someone's Instagram picture and tell them that they're really pretty, you know? Yeah, so that's all I wanted to say. I don't even know if I'll upload this or not, but definitely check out that blog post and search up other um, posts like that because they're super inspiring to read. But yeah, thanks for watching. Follow me on my social media and peace and love.